is up everyone? Mr. Aviator here and today I'm doing something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be complaining and whining about The Sims 4 and their creators and producers. So this is a little bit different video and if you guys agree with my opinions, show this video a like uh, and let me know what you think in the comments about The Sims 4 and its future. So this is what started the rank guys. The Sims 4 today released a 14 second uh, trailer for what's coming out in the next quarter of content. If you guys don't know what a quarter is, it's like three months of the year. And uh, it looks like a stuff pack is coming out, guys, and a game pack. Roll the trailer. Now, if that didn't excite you, though, the effort they put into that 14-second clip, <laughs> I don't know what will. Um, I think they tossed that trailer together at, like, last minute, literally, to appease the fans, because there's been so many complaints that there's been no new content, really, lately, and they're like, hey, guys, just to let you know, new stuff is coming out. So, let me go over some stuff, guys, and let me get down to the root of the problem. Now, I feel like The Sims 4 is more money-hungry than any Sims franchise to date. Now, of course, they're a business. They gotta make money, or they go broke, and we don't get any games. So, I'm not I'm mad that they're trying to make money, but I am mad that they're not listening to their fans, because if they listen to their fans, most likely, they'd make more money. <laughs> it's simple. Okay, so, let me go over my gripes about The Sims 4. Now, before you think I'm just a hater on The Sims, that's not true. I've played The Sims since The Sims 1, and I've owned every expansion pack in The Sims 1, Sims 2, Sims 3, and sadly, I own all of them in The Sims 4 as well. Uh, they know their demographic. They know that their fans will buy anything, and that's why they toss out tons of stuff packs and game packs in between expansions. I feel like if this was The Sims 3, we'd have a few more expansions by now, and we wouldn't have so many stupid stuff packs. I feel like The Sims 3 only had a few stuff packs, and we already have six and The Sims 4 hasn't even been out two years yet. Okay, so let me go into my theory here, or what I think The Sims 4 should have done. Now, if you look at these stuff packs, we have six. And if you look at the expansions, we have two, and game packs, we have two as well. Now, I want to show you guys how I think these stuff packs could have been put into these expansion packs. Now, if you look at Get Together, that expansion pack's all about getting together with friends, starting a club, hanging out, you know, friendship and stuff. Now, if you look at these expansions, uh, like movie hangout stuff, spooky stuff, and even uh, luxury party stuff and perfect patio stuff, I feel like those four could have been tossed in to get together. Now, hear me out here. Movie hangout stuff is all about hanging out, and so is Sims 4 Get Together. It's all about making a movie theater, hanging out with friends, watching movies, enjoying that kind of stuff. Now, movie hangout stuff was 10 bucks, and I think Get Together was 40 You could have tossed movie hangout stuff in, because it literally was only a few items. Obviously, yeah, it was some cool stuff. I enjoy movies, and I have a movie theater in my Sims 4 house, but I feel like it could have been part of Get Together. You know, you could have had a movie club, maybe watch movies and discussed the theory of the film. I don't know. And with spooky stuff, it's all about getting together for Halloween. I know they were playing on The Sims fans' emotions about that holiday, and they released it around the holiday, and they charged 10 bucks for it, and people bought it because, hey, Halloween, I want costumes, I want jack-o'-lanterns. I'm sure no one right now playing The Sims still uses the jack-o'-lantern feature, and that was one of the coolest features. You can carve your own pumpkins. Woo! That could have also been tossed in a get-together because it's about getting together at a party for Halloween, or just Halloween in general is a get-together thing. I don't think of anyone who celebrates Halloween alone and does nothing outside, like going to haunted houses or anything. They even had haunted houses. They could have added that and threw them and get-together and could have been a cool part of the expansion. Now, perfect patio stuff. Now, this is where it gets a little vague, and this could have been added because it was literally like hot tubs and some other random crap. When I think hot tubs, I think chilling with friends by the poolside, hot tub stuff, blah, blah, blah. That could have been tossed in a get-together. And luxury party stuff, literally about partying. That could have been in Get Together as well. Now, Get to Work, uh, I don't know if you could really toss any of these into Get to Work, like Cool Kitchen stuff and Romantic Garden stuff. If you really wanted to, you could, because, to be honest, both of those really didn't add much. An ice cream machine and some random gardening things. I don't know. Could have almost been tossed in the base game, I think, especially Cool Kitchen stuff. Didn't add anything to the game for 10 bucks, really. That could have definitely been in the base game when the game came out, or just tossed up as some free TLC. Now, Get to Work, in general, has kind of been disappointing for me. Now, I was a huge fan of The Sims 2 Open for Business. It was my favorite expansion pack of all time of all Sims games, and I probably spend hundreds and hundreds of hours on that expansion alone. 
Now you're probably like, Aviator, that's because it's nostalgia. You think The Sims 2 Open for Business is so good because you played it a long time ago and, and it's nostalgic to you now. No, I actually played it a couple months ago and it's amazing still. It's still a great expansion pack, even though obviously the graphics aren't up to par with what we expect nowadays, but it is still amazing and it's a ton of fun to play. Now, The Sims 4 Get to Work, when this was announced, I was more excited than you can even imagine to own my own business and to possibly go to work and be a doctor or a detective or whatever you do, a scientist. But when I got this expansion pack, I found out owning a business isn't as fun as it was in Sims 2 Open for Business. There wasn't as many components. There wasn't as many details. I remember in the Sims 2 Open for Business, you would earn like little uh, aspirations for your business, and you could unlock cooler things like make your employees better, and your employees would have badges, and they could level up, and it was just so detailed and like get to work it seems like they just tossed that in there as a bonus feature hoping people would buy it for nostalgia reasons of open for business and they got me 40 bucks gone but with get to work they had only three jobs that you can actually go to work at and, and actually perform now you know I was fine with that I'm like hey this is the base game of get to work three jobs that's cool but overall the other stuff packs expansion packs and game packs they haven't released any new jobs for get to work I honestly thought when they released get to work as some of these stuff packs and game packs came out they would release jobs that you could work at more jobs to keep their expansion packs alive and make you want to get get to work because if you had get to work and they were adding new jobs every couple of months or if you didn't have it I think you would buy it because hey a lot of new content comes up for that expansion now with spa day they could have almost added that to get to work and they could have allowed you to I don't know be a masseuse or I don't know do stuff that spas do pedicures stuff like that I don't know gym fitness trainer now, obviously, Spa Day is a pretty cool game pack, and I enjoy it. I love having a spa, and maybe they shouldn't be giving away all this content for free, but I'm just explaining how I feel like some of the content in this, or when this was released as a game pack, they could have created a new job in this game pack. If you had to get to work, you could work as a masseuse. You know, that would have been cool. And with, uh, obviously, the first ever game pack, Outdoor Retreat, uh, you know, that was cool for a little bit. I'm pretty sure no one uses that aspect in this game anymore. Uh, I don't even know how to get to the outdoor retreat anymore. <laughs> I just don't care. And that's the problem with, like, half of these stuff packs, expansion packs, and game packs. I just don't care after, like, a month of their release. And that's sad because... Uh, what, what, what did I spend here? 60 plus 60, that's 120, plus another 80, that's 200, plus another, like, 40? You're looking at $240, and the game's not even two years old. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, I know EA as a company uh, is, in general, money-hungry because of their Madden franchise and all that, where they sell those mutt points and they try to make as much money off microtransactions as possible. I feel like that has guided Maxis... Uh, with EA to do the same thing for The Sims 4, but with, instead of microtransactions, they're just releasing stuff packs like it's hot. Before its two-year anniversary, there's going to be seven stuff packs, three game packs, and only two expansions. That is ridiculous, guys. That 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 that's that's 12 things released, but only two of them are expansions. 12 additional things onto the base game, and only two are expansions. And the expansions that they released, I, I mean, they feel like they could just be game packs. To be honest, they don't add a lot of stuff. I, I think the only thing that adds actually a decent amount is get to work. Cause get together, yeah, it's cool having a club and having a hangout and, and making your friends paint paintings for you, and you can sell them and, and exploit the system. But it's just like. I don't know, is it worth $40? I feel like it's more worth 20 bucks, and it could have been a game pack, and I, I feel like they're just not listening to their fans. They should have released a Generations expansion by now, or a University, or a combination of the two, um, just because those are expansions that actually add value to the game with Generations to have, like, you know, toddlers and all of that kind of stuff, and just more of this family vibe, and with University being able to go to college and all that, those should have been on their priority list. Like, I feel like Get Together shouldn't have been released when it was. I feel like it should have been Get to Work, then University, because University would have tied in with Get to Work. You could have went to college and got a better job, or a higher paying job, uh, and then Get Together could have came out like fourth or fifth, like to be honest, it didn't add enough content. Like, the content they're releasing just doesn't add a ton of value to the game, and it makes literally, like when you add a stuff pack, I play for like three days, and I'm like, cool, the stuff is fun. Like, I'm pretty sure people use the ice cream stuff and the cool kitchen thing for a little bit, but to be honest, it's more annoying than it is, I don't know, useful. So I, I can't imagine anyone that really used garden stuff. I don't know. I, I I guess for decoration and stuff, but I just, I don't know. Movie hangout stuff was probably the best stuff back in my opinion. And get to work. Well, there's only two to choose from. It's probably the best expansion. And I'm not even going to choose the best game pack. Obviously, Spa Day is, but I feel like game packs shouldn't even exist. 
uh, to be honest, they should just be pulled into expansion packs and, you know, yeah, don't make a whole expansion around spas. That would be stupid, but just tie it in with something that where it would fit. Like, put it in as a bonus item. I don't know. Some of this stuff should have been free. Cool kitchen stuff. Spooky stuff should have definitely been free. Around Halloween, they should have just released some free crap for people to download. I don't know. I'm just... I'm just upset because it seems like The Sims 4 and Maxis and EA just don't care. And when you read some of these people's replies on Twitter that work for The Sims team, they're just like, oh, toddlers, those aren't coming out. We've already decided we're not doing toddlers like this was in the past. Maybe they're going to do toddlers now, but it's just like, and especially with like pools and, and stupid stuff like that in basements, it's just like, why not just throw that all in the base game like you did with The Sims 3? I don't know why they're making all these changes. I think what they did was they gave us a really base, base game. And they were hoping to sell these blindly under our noses because we're such dedicated fans. And we'll just give them probably $600 over the course of this game alone. If you're a loyal, dedicated fan that cares about The Sims, you'll buy them all. And uh, that's just, that's wrong. And I just want to talk about this because I'm really upset that they would do something like this. So, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Show a like on this video if you agreed with my opinion that The Sims 4 should just... Start piling some of these stuff, some of these things just together. Like, save us some money, man. And stop trying to take every dollar from your fans. So when you release The Sims 5, people might actually buy it if you heed my advice, which I know you won't. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, remember to take it easy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs>